Chip, 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 Chip,
I request our Dean of Academics, Dr. B.B. Naik sir, to do the honors of welcoming our Honorable Director and Vice Chancellor, Dr. Ravi Shankar sir. And Joint Director, Dr. N.P. Sahu sir. Now it will Dr. Shamna to kindly welcome our Dean of Academics, Dr. B.B. Naik. The registrar, Dr. S. N. Ocha, to please come to the podium. Honorable Vice Chancellor, sir, I seek your kind permission to declare the convocation open. Yes. With the permission of the Honorable Vice Chancellor, sir, I declare this convocation open. Thank you, sir. I now call upon Dr. Paramita Banerjee Savan and Mrs. Smita Kohli to sing the invocation song.
in reverence to our belief that fish brings prosperity and good fortune, I would like to humbly request the dignitaries to mark this auspicious occasion by releasing fish into the waters commemorating this grand event.
who is the guiding force behind all the research and development of activities in the fisheries sector. And he is always a source of inspiration to all of us and he is a great support to all of our activities. A warm welcome to you too, sir. We are extremely pleased to have the distinguished presence of our Academic Council members, especially the Vice Chancellor of Tamil Nadu Physics University, my friend Dr. T. Sukumar, Dr. Savant, the Vice Chancellor of the Baba Savant, Kundal Krishivya Bhit Dapoli, Dr. P. K. Sahu, the Director of Central Institute of Fishes Aquaculture, Bhuneshwar, and our former directors, Dr. Dilip Kumar Sahab, Dr. Gopal Krishna, Mrs. Gopal Krishna, and all the directors of the ICR institution, especially Dr. Shukla from Zipcot, and my friend Dr. Kaushi Banerjee from NRC Graves. And we have few deans who have come here for the deans meeting. I see my friend Dr. DRK, Dr. Vinod Karita. All the other invited guests, well wishers who have joined here to share our joy and strengthen our linkages and bonding and collaborations in the future. A warm welcome to all of you. I extend a warm, pleasant welcome to all the esteemed members of the Academy Council, the Board of Management, Extension Council, the Advisory Committee, staff of all the ICR institutions. We have people from CFI, CFT, other organizations like FSI, but all our retired staff and the faculty and staff members of the CAFE, Parivar. Hearty welcome to all the students, recipients of various degrees, awards and medals in this convocation and all their families, their parents, their sisters, their brothers, everyone. All our alumni. And I also would like to welcome Dr. Krishnan, the director of BOBB. I'm sorry I forgot. A warm welcome to you Dr. Krishnan. And all our industry partners, Members of the local organizations, all the communities, the local communities, the families of the CAFT, CAFT staff, all our esteemed guests, members of the present media, ladies and gentlemen, a warm welcome to everyone to this convocation ceremony. I am delighted to share that CAFT was, you know, has completed 61 glorious years of service to this great nation. When it was established in 1961 by Government of India, with the assistance of UNDP, the institute's primary responsibility was to promote fisheries development by training personnel from the state fisheries department. From that, you know, we used to train the state fisheries department. Then, since then, in 1979, CAFE became part of the ICR family. Then, a decade on, on the 29th March 1989, UGC recognized the CAFE as the deputy university. Then, since then, CAFE has become a national center of professional fisheries education in India. With this, CAFE expanded its ambit of activities from training to postgraduate education, basic and applied research, training and extension, and now offers postgraduate courses in 11 disciplines under six divisions. CAFE grew with the development of this new campus where you are sitting. And today, boasts of modern classrooms, highly equipped laboratories, extensive library, academic, examination and administrative units, student hostels, staff quarters, gymnasium, indoor and outdoor sports facilities, wet laboratories, and a central instrumentation facility that the institute always takes pride. And it is not just for creating the facility or infrastructure, but also maintaining in its all arts. No doubt with the solid backing of the leadership in the council, especially the director general and the deputy director general, we hope that their support will continue to this institute for marching ahead. The institute has five regional centers in Kolkata, Kakinoda, Aurkela, Rodak and Motipur. The farm facilities at these centers not only provide research and learning opportunities to scientists and students, but also give a pan India reach of CFE for the training and extension activities. In the last decade, CFE has conducted over 800 training programs benefiting more than 20,000 stakeholders across India. 
In the past, we have taken pride in our fishing vessel, Saraswati, but we regret to say that we had to dispose it off very recently because it was difficult to maintain. But on this occasion, I would like to request Honorable D.D. Sahab, if he can permit us to utilize the money what we have generated by auctioning the vessel to buy a new vessel because it is very essential for our students' research, for the faculty research, so that we can have a modern vessel for our future students. So that is our humble request on this occasion to Honorable D.G. Under the National Agriculture Higher Education Project, the new year is syllabus modification in the last one decade the new university has been awarded has awarded 930 masters and 311 phd degrees the alumni of cafe are well placed in educational and research institutions all over india and overseas as well and they are you know excelling as scientists as researchers as assistant professors as the teaching faculty and also there are many are in the state fisheries department and developmental agencies, banks, industries and I am happy to tell you the people who are getting into the enterprise, you know starting their own business, become entrepreneurs is on the rise. In the recent study we saw that nearly 9% of our alumni are taking up business initiative. That is a welcome sign. We hope that that will increase further. In this convocation, 95 students will be awarded with master degrees and 55 students with PhD degrees. These numbers are set to increase when we move ahead with the national education policy where we are expected to start the graduation program. We are also expected to increase our intake capacity where we will be looking at hand-holding and collaborating with the other fisheries institutes for increasing our intake. And of course, when we think of new education policy moving ahead, increasing our academic programs and the reach, <coughs> Definitely any move in this direction will have to be fueled by one-time catch-up grant from the council for major repairs and refurbishing our academic uh, buildings and also improving our seven bungalow old campus. That is the real need of the hour. I would request DG Sahab to you know, look into this matter. Where students can, and also in addition to the headquarters, we also would like to strengthen our field centers, all our research centers. So that is our earnest request to the Honorable DG. The staff strength is also dwindling day by day, year by year. I would request DG to look into this matter because being an academic and research institution, we need to have more you know, qualified uh, faculty. That's what is the need of the hour for, as an organization. We also look forward for an auditorium. I would like to take this opportunity. I know I'm asking for too many things from the Honorable DG, but this is an occasion I don't want to miss because you can see, you know, uh, as a premier institution, not only the convocation, there are a lot of other activities which we need to do every uh, day, every you know, alternative things. So holding a, a program of this magnitude involves a lot of figures, so we need to have an auditorium. 
we can have a makeshift thing which is costing huge money and which is putting a burden on our contingency uh, budgets. So I would request Honorable DG if we can look into this so that we can have a beautiful auditorium so that we can host all our events in the future. Last year the institute operated 35 institutional and 14 external funded projects and also we had the two international projects. And we have, you know, we are posting off our one flagship program on inland sorts and aquaculture, especially dedicated in the Rotex Center. And in addition to this, we are also having a lot of major achievements under NHGB. I would like to mention again, I would like to thank the Education Division of ICR for giving this project to us. Large number of farmers in Haryana, Punjab, Uttar Pradesh and Rajasthan were benefited by you know, Venamai culture in the inland salt or saline uh, waters. And I would like to mention, compliment the Rotex Center and all the scientists and other people who worked in the center. Of course, it was a flagship program under the NHGB. We are continuing to do that in the future also. Where the chief ministers of both Punjab and Haryana have given a you know, special acknowledging our efforts in those two states. And also in you know, farming, you know, helping the farmers, we have also developed an app called MGGA app. In addition to that, we are asking funding from PMMSY for strengthening and making this center as a center of excellence for inland sources and agriculture. So we are looking forward from support from the Department of Fisheries, Government of India. Enrollment of international students is an indicator of the university's stature. But sadly, their number is becoming limited in a couple of years. Partly because of COVID-19 and also partly because there is a lot of delay by getting through our international MOUs from the DARE. Again, I would request Secretary DARE to look into this. Of course, I have raised this issue a couple of times. I think because what happened, we are waiting, but all the state universities have marched ahead. They went on starting the sandwich program and a couple of overseas collaborative programs. I think we also should look into this. I am sure Honorable DG will support us so that CAU will be able to build overseas linkages and benefit from them. However, I would like to mention you, CAFE has forged strong linkages with the national institutions of DBT, CSIR, ICMR and IITs along with all the state agricultural universities. This year we signed MOU with CSIR, IITR, Lucknow, Maharat, Rana Pratap, University of Agriculture Technology, Rajasthan, Sher A. Kashmir University of Agriculture Science and Technology, Srinagar. Locally, we have already functional MOUs with IIT Bombay, uh, Tata Institute of Fundamental Research, BARC, ICMR, NIRRCH, DBT, ICT, Bio Bioenergy Resource Center, Mumbai University, and Tata Institute of Social Sciences. Genetic improvement of the indigenous catfish magur for body weight is also being one of the major programs. And on last year, after the con convocation where Honorable Minister Rupalaji came, after that, on 24th April, genetically selected Magur was released and transferred to NFDB by Honorable Secretary Swain Sahab, Department of Fisheries, Government of India. Recently, we have transferred a number of technologies and it has given a shot in the arm for all of our scientists and they got motivated so that we can do better. These include licensing of fish vaccines against bacterial diseases, adverticillosis and coronaries, design of a photobacterial bioreactor for biomass production of spirulina and CFE Orgolin, you know, a medicated feed that offers protection was also transferred very recently to Godrej. This year, one patent we got awarded for the Magur hatchery and the Laval layering technology. In addition to that, we have been, another four patents are about to be uh, awarded. In addition to that, we have been getting copyright for many of our activity, especially on the MJinga and also we have developed a human capital valuation framework for academia. That is again getting a lot of laurels, whatever work we have been doing, we are working with all the state agriculture universities. On this occasion, I would like to thank all their support and cooperation. I am excited about the prospects of teaching and research being carried out at CAFE. I am particularly looking forward to the guidance from the newly constituted RAC, shared by none other than Padma Shri Dr. S. Ayappan, whom we all hold in the highest esteem. Further ahead in the CIF Fest 2023, we look forward to the fourth con students convention which is going to start tomorrow where students of 25 fisheries colleges are taking part in poster presentation, cultural competition and many other activities. We also have the second edition of Fish Swap. Last year we did one fish festival that gave a huge success. So taking that, we are organizing another fish festival immediately after that 
this convocation in the evening where you can see the enjoy the delicacies of different states of the India. I'm this will be followed on 22nd meeting of all the deans of the fisheries colleges. The glorious services of CAFE to the fisheries sector have been possible only to the vision of the directors of the past, the present management, all my learned faculty and the whole staff, students of this premier institution, board of management, of course supported by Indian Council of Agriculture Research. I once again express my heartfelt gratitude to the esteemed and honored chief guest, Dr. Iman Chupatik Sahab. We are eagerly waiting for your convocation address. I am also extremely grateful to our guest of honor, Dr. Jana Sahab, for his support and guidance. I would like to place on record our gratitude to Dr. R.C. Agarwal, DDG Education, for his constant support to this institute. He actually he wanted to be here today, but the, tomorrow there is an international conference on blended learning, so he could not come today. But I would like to place on record our appreciation and gratitude to him and the whole HRD and Education Division of ICR. I offer my heartiest congratulations to all the students who will be receiving their degrees, medals and awards today. I wish all of you a bright future. I wish to acknowledge and appreciate all my staff, students, contractual staff, the whole CAFE Parivar for their contribution in putting up a great, very grand show here today. Once again, I wholeheartedly welcome all of you to this institute and to the 16th convocation of this great institution, Central Institute of Fisheries Education, Mumbai. Thank you. Jai Hind. Namaskar. Thank you very much, sir. Now I request the Dean Academics, Dr. B.B. Naik, sir, to come to the podium and present the list of candidates for the award of degrees of Doctor of Philosophy and Master of Fisheries Science. Sir, I present to you the following candidates who have been examined and found qualified for the degree of Doctor of Philosophy in Fisheries Resource Management, Aquaculture, post harvest Technology, Fish Genetics and Breeding, Fish Biotechnology, Aquatic Animal Health Management, Aquatic Environment Management, Fish Physiology and Biochemistry, Fish Nutrition and Feed Technology, Fisheries Extension and Fisheries Economics, to which I pray that they may be admitted. List of PhD students, uh, receiving the degree in person, uh, Ms. Shweta Kumari, Mr. Rohitas Yadav, Ms. Nageshwari P, Ms. Chitra Suman, Mr. Shyam Prasad Mamidala, Ms. Sangeeta M. Naya, Mr. Nitin Jaipur, Mr. Tanjin Gawa, Mr. Hafif Roshan Keti, Mr. Aurobindo Upadhyay, Mr. Prem Singh Prajapat, Mr. Sandeep K.P., Mr. Rajesh M., Mr. Lakhanlal Meena, Mr. Suman De, Mr. Chenuri Satish, Mr. Rajpal Yadav, Mr. Somnath Ramchandra Yadav, Mr. Vinay A., Ms. Devita R.P., Mr. Mohammad Akram Javid, Ms. Surya S., Mr. Kantarajan Ji, Mr. Vinay Maruti Hathi. With the authority vested in me as Vice Chancellor of the Deep University, ICR Central Institute of Fisheries Education, I confer upon you the degree of Doctor of Philosophy in Fisheries Resource Management, Aquaculture, Post-Harvest Technology, Fish Genetics, Fish Biotechnology, Aquatic Animal Health, Aquatic Environmental Management, Fish Physiology and Biochemistry, Fish Nutrition and Feed Technology, Fisheries Extension and Fisheries Economics, and ordain that you shall keep the grace integrity and standards of the same.
I present to you the following candidates who have been examined and found qualified for the degree of Masters of Fishery Science in Aquaculture, Fisheries Resource Management, Post Harvest Technology, Fish Genetics and Breeding, Fish Biotechnology, Fish Nutrition and Feed Technology, Fish Physiology and Biochemistry, Aquatic Environment Management, Aquatic Animal Health Management, Fisheries Economics and Fisheries Extension to which I pray that they may be admitted. The list of MFSC students taking degrees in person, Aquaculture, Ms. Krishtina Kundrakpam, Ms. Divya Mehta, Mr. Bharti Rajapi, 
मिस रम्या वीर मिस्टर सागर गीता शिंदे मिस्टर सौरभ भद्रा मिस्टर सौरभ रॉय मिस्ट्री रिसोर्स मैनेजमेंट मिस मीनाक्षी एस मिस्टर राजेश कुमार मिस्टर सागर होनाल मिस शिल्पा आर मिस सुदीप्ता वर्मन मिस थांगा अनुष्या एस मिस्टर विनीत पी मिस्टर जाहिर अब्बास मिस्टर समित कुमार चांद पोस्ट हार्वेस्ट टेक्नोलॉजी मिस प्रगति शेट्टी मिस संध्या बी मिस्टर शरद एस पी मिस सौश्रुति कर मिस सुगुना पी मिस तनुश्री सरदार मिस्टर विनाकी साई कृष्णा मिस जेनेटिक्स एंड ब्रीडिंग मिस्टर दीपक कुमार मिस्टर किशोर गौड़ा बी मिस्टर रघुल आर मिस श्रेयासी कर फिश बायोटेक्नोलॉजी मिस दर्शिनी एमपी मिस्टर गौहर इकबल मिस्टर ओकांति विनय कुमार मिस संगीता एस मिस असगोल कर प्राची दत्तात्रेय मिस न्यूट्रिशन एंड फीड टेक्नोलॉजी मिस आरसेया एस मिस अलपाति रीना प्रकाश राय मिस्टर पतेकर प्रकाश गोरक्षा मिस्टर पतलोरी साई किशोर मिस्टर सतीश एम मिस्टर सौम्यदीप भट्टाचार्य मिस्टर वीरामणि मारुति के एम फिश फिजियोलॉजी एंड बायोकेमिस्ट्री मिस्टर जैकबसन जबरसन सलमन जे मिस कमुई एन बी मिस मधुलिका मिस्टर नवीन एस के मिस्टर मोले सत्यम राजकुमार मिस्टर शुभम पटली मिस्टर बसंत कुमार एन के एक्वाटिक एनवाइ मैनेजमेंट मिस अभिरामी एन मिस्टर गणेश कुमार टी मिस्टर प्रीतम सरकार मिस सावंत शमीका सांताराम मिस शामिली डब्ल्यू मिस धावड़ भाव भावना राजू एक्वाटिक एनिमल हेल्थ मैनेजमेंट जवातिया रवि कुमार मंशु भाई मिस झांसी रोबीना ए मिस्टर मनोज कुमार सी मिस्टर समद शेख मिस्टर समंतुला सूर्य तेजा मिश्रिज इकोनॉमिक्स मिस आईला एम एस मिस्टर मनी सलवन जे मिस्टर राठौर सागर सीताराम मिस्टर पालसम कार्तिक कुमार गौड़ मिश्रिज एक्सटेंशन मिस दबोस्मिता दे मिस विमला समथा मिस बी भावना मिस संगीता यू with the authority vested in me as vice chancellor of the dim university central institute of fisheries education i confer upon you the degree of master of fisheries science in aquaculture fisheries resource management post harvest technology fish genetics and breeding fish biotechnology fish nutrition and fish feed technology fish physiology and biochemistry aquatic animal health aquatic environment management fisheries economics fisheries extinction i am ordained that you shall keep the grace integrity and the standards of the same
मिस्टर प्रशांत जाना मिस्टर कतीरा नरेश भाई नाथा भाई मिस्टर बालकृष्ण चिंतारा मिस्टर ओम परवेश कुमार रवि मिस्टर ताराचंद कुमावत मिस्टर किशोर कुनाल मिस्टर चंदन हलदार मिस्टर चेतन कुमार गर्ग मिस त्रिप्रिया प्रकाशन मिस अजीना एस एम मिस गुंजन कर्नाटक मिस्टर शांतन कुमार वी मिस्टर मानस कुमार माइती मिस्टर विनय मारुति हत्ते मिस संचिता नस्कर मिस्टर डैनियल एन मिस्टर दैंडे क्रांति कुमार लिस्ट ऑफ एम एफ एस सी स्टूडेंट्स इन आमसेंसिया मिस अतिरा फारूक फ्रॉम एग्रोकल्चर मिस्टर बनलाम जिमसाई मारबनियन मिस पार्वती प्रिया आर मिस पूजा चितिरा मिस रोजीरानी बेहरा मिस त्रेसा मेरीन पायस फिशरीज रिसोर्स मैनेजमेंट मिस ऐश्वर्या एस मिस स्वागतिका साहू पोस्ट हार्वेस्ट टेक्नोलॉजी मिस पाक पायल देवपर्मा मिस्टर संतोष कुमार पंडा मिस इतिश्री दास मिस जेनेटिक्स एंड ब्रीडिंग मिस पोर्कोडी एम मिस लाल मेरू ताई लाल मेरू मेरवाती मिस बायोटेक्नोलॉजी मिस्टर हिमांशु शंकर नागे मिस प्रगति प्रधान लांबोला नाथाबाई लाखाबाई मिस न्यूट्रिशन एंड फीड टेक्नोलॉजी मिस्टर ओमकार पात्र एक्वाटिक एनवायरनमेंट मैनेजमेंट मिस एन ताचेंगिलो मिस शिल्पा प्रदीप एक्वाटिक एनिमल हेल्थ मैनेजमेंट मिस अमला जीजी मिस अंजल आयना केजे मिस ताटीकुंडा भार्गवी मिस वेनरेबिलिटी था पेशरी इकोनॉमिक्स मिस अपना अनिल मिस्टर के सुरेश कुमार पात्रो मिस वागमारे स्नेहा दादा राव पेशरी एक्सटेंशन मिस बी लालून से लाल लालून सांगी मिस गीता एम मिस मुश्कम प्रियंका With the authority vested in me as Vice Chancellor of the Deemed University, Central Institute of Fisheries Education, I admit the candidates whose names have been read loud by the Dean to Doctor of Philosophy in Fisheries Science and Master of Fisheries Science in their respective disciplines in absentia. Thank you, sir, and hearty congratulations to all the uh, degree holders. Now I request the controller of examinations, Dr. Ashutosh Deo, to please come to the podium. The following candidates are awarded: Dr. Hiralal Chowdhury. Indian Sharma, Dr. Amy Umpare, Prof. Ramindranath Prathapalli, Madhav Prasadesh Jagirdar, and Dr. C. B. Kulkarni Merit Medals for their outstanding performance in different streams of MFSC for the batch 2020-2022. I will read out the list of Dr. Hiralal Chaudhary recipients. Aquaculture, Ms. Christina Kundrakpam, Fishery Resource Management, Ms. Silpa R, Post Harvest Technology, Ms. Sandhya B, Fish Genetics and Breeding, Mr. Kishore Gaura B, Fish Biotechnology, Mr. Darshani M B, Fish Nutrition and Feed Technology, Ms. Atsya S, Fish Biology and Biochemistry, Ms. Jawar San Solomon J, Aquatic Environment Management, Ms. Abhirami N, Aquatic Animal Health, Ms. Jain C. Rovina A, Fisheries Economics, Ms. Ayala Anas, Fisheries Extension, Mr. B. Lalum Sangi. 3B and Sarma Ewaad goes to the topper of Fisheries Extension Discipline and the Ewaad goes to Ms. B. Lalum Sangi. 
Sri M. M. Parayavad, or the topper of history economics discipline, goes to Ms. Ahila M. S. Professor Ravindranath Prothapalli Award, or the topper of A. E. H. M. Division, goes to Ms. Abhirami N. Madhav Prasad S. Jagirdar Award, goes to the topper of his genetics and breeding discipline, to Mr. Kishore Gaura V. And Dr. C. D. Pulkarni Award, goes to the overall topper, to Ms. Abhirami N. opportunity to request our Honorable Director and Vice Chancellor Dr. Ravishan Kassar to felicitate the Chief Guest of today's function, Honorable Director General ICR Dr. Himanshu Bhattak Sir with a shawl, shrifal and a momento. Now I invite the Honorable Director and Vice Chancellor Dr. Ravishikha sir to kindly come to the podium. Now I request Honorable DG, Secretary Dare, 
to give the convocation address. Thank you. Good morning to each and every one of you. Honorable Vice Chancellor and Director of this prestigious Institute in University, Dr. Vishankarji. My colleague, DDG Visual Sciences, Dr. Jena, Dr. Sahu, Dr. Nayak. All the very distinguished members of Academic Council, members of Board of Management, my colleague directors of various other research institutes, 